Hello and welcome to the AQA 8300 series GCSE higher tier maths paper. This is 8300 3H. This is a calculator paper and we're picking up in question 26. It says an approximate solution to an equation is found using the iterative process x sub n plus 1 is equal to x sub n cubed minus 3 all over 8 and x1 equals minus 1. Work out the value of x2 and x3. Well that's very simple, we just put the information into this equation and we are allowed to use a calculator. So we start with xn plus 1 which will be x2 which is equal to now xn is x1, which we're already told in the question is minus 1. So that's minus 1 cubed minus 3 divided by 8. And we recall that we are allowed to use a calculator. So it's negative 1 cubed minus 3 equals divided by 8 equals minus 0 0.5. You can be clever and say that's negative a half, but you won't get any extra marks for saying so. So I'm just going to write what's in my calculator. So now I have my x2. So that's the answer here, 0 0.5, which is negative. I've got to remember to write down the negative sign. And that gets one mark. Now, we know what x2 is, so we can calculate x3 x3 is equal to, and I start off with my x2, which is minus 0 0.5, and here we already have it in the calculator. So all I need to do is cube that, subtract 3, and divide by 8. And that gives me negative 0 0.390625. So that's negative 0 0.390625. And I just want to make sure that is the correct answer. 390.65, that's correct. So that's part A done, which is two easy marks. Part B, work out the solution to six decimal places. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is correct. Now, to get to six decimal places using the iterative process, all you do is keep mindlessly going through the loop until the numbers are the same to the required level of accuracy. So, following this equation, we've got our x2. So let's write down x3. Sorry x4, we've got our x3, we need our x4 is equal to this cubed minus 3 divided by 8 and I'm not going to be bothered to write that down so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in a text box and I'm going to paste. You can write that down from your own calculator display. So x, x5 then. And we're going to keep going until to an accuracy of six decimal places this number doesn't change. So x5 we need to cube this. Subtract 3. Divide by 8. And I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste that, so we can write that down. Okay. Let's create some more room if there's not enough room to paste the text. There we go. So, we need to go on further because that's not the same number. X6 is equal to so I cube this subtract 3 divide by 8 this is mindless stuff and it's this mindless stuff 
that makes it ideal for a computer program to do. Rather than a human being to do. But of course you need to know how to do it before you can write a computer program to do it. So we're getting closer to at least four decimal places. This is the same answer but we need it to an accuracy of six decimal places. So we need to go on again. X7. And here we go. Calculator. So cubed minus 3 divided by 8. OK. And copy. And paste. Uh, that's 967. That's 966. So that's accurate to five decimal places. So I'm hopeful that this might be the last time. X8 is equal to. And so I need to cube that. Minus 3. Divide by 8. Oh yes, and that is the same. So I'll copy that and paste. And to six decimal places, these two numbers are identical. In fact, to seven de no, six decimal places, they're identical. They only vary on the seventh. So our answer is minus 0.381966. Uh, that's the one that should go in here, but I haven't left myself space to write that in. Hope that was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.